Let's talk about how you can format your footnotes properly using the, or following the Chicago Manual of Style. Now, the first thing you need to do is highlight all your footnotes. Uh, so we're just, we're just going to put our cursor there. We're going to press Control A, and that selects all of the footnotes. And then we need to make sure that we have Times New Roman font. So under the Home tab, you go to Times New Roman. Size 10 is pretty regular, although there is some leeway there. And then we need to change the paragraph settings. So we're going to go to the paragraph section, click on this little button here and go to paragraph settings under indentation. We're going to click on first line so that every first line is indented. There we go. Then we need to change the spacing. So again, under the paragraph settings, we're going to go to line and paragraph spacing. Look at the scroll down menu and click add space after paragraph. This way, the footnotes are single spaced, but there is an extra space between uh, each footnote. If you did this, this would be totally fine and your instructor would likely be super happy. But there is one more thing we can do if we want to be totally correct. And that is to change the way the numbers look. As you can see, the numbers are in superscript form. And the, the hyper correct way, according to the Chicago Manual of Style, is to make them regular numbers followed by a period. Now that is quite tricky to do. Uh, and the Chicago Manual of Style even says that in manuscript form, the way we have it now is, is completely acceptable. So if you're writing an essay for an instructor, let's say, uh, this should be fine according to the official standards. Let's say you do want to change it though. It's actually quite tricky to do. And there's two ways to do it. The one is to create a macro, which is a kind of command in Microsoft Word uh, that you have to set up yourself. And that's quite tricky. So we're not going to cover that here. What we will cover is how you can do a search and replace. And you would want to do this then at the very end of the, the writing process, just before you're going to print this out and hand it in. Okay, so put your cursor in a footnote, in, in the first footnote here, let's say. And we're going to press Control H which brings up a search and or find and replace uh, box. Now, what you want to do is copy these things that we have here. And we have a caret, which on my keyboard, I've typed in by pressing shift six. Okay, it's found on the, on the six key. Uh, and then O2, and then our other replace text here is again a caret, and then we have an and sign and a period. It's maybe a bit hard to see the period there. We've done one thing as well. We've we've opened up this this more um, box, which gives us more options, and we've gone to uh, format here, and then font, and under font we want to make sure that we change uh, this from superscript and subscript. We want to get rid of these things, well, especially superscript here, and then we're going to press OK. You may have to press a couple of times to actually do this, and I should say that. You don't want to do it for this box. You want to make sure you do it for the replace with box. So put your cursor in this box and then press on format and font. And as you can see, we've already got rid of the, the, the superscript option here. Okay. So let's say that you've done that and it says not superscript here. That's what you want to see. Then you can get to the stage when you, where you replace all. So let's give this a try. Okay, so you can see that we've made two replacement, uh, and we can close this now. We can see that our footnotes have regular numbers with a period after them. Now, don't ask me exactly why this works the way it does. I've just tried to cover this very quickly. But if you want to do this, if you want to make it look proper, this would be the easiest way to do it. And I hope that helps you to format your footnotes correctly.